Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about the infinite cardinals or large cardinals. So this is a topic requested by some people and it is related to set theory. And it is of course also used in part of Googleology, which is, you know, cardinals, they are quite useful in the ordinal collapsing function. Um, so first of all, I mean, I already have a few videos on cardinals and ordinals, so feel free to watch that. But in those videos, I'm just talking about the the out of no and the out of one. Uh, here we try to look at some larger ordinals and their properties. So anyway, um, again, first of all, just have to disclaimer again, you know, there's a difference between cardinal and ordinal. They are two different things. I think a lot of people get them mixed up. So cardinal basically is, uh, talk, we're talking about the size or quantity of something or in a set. And ordinal number is for ordering ranking of things in a set. So they're different. So for example, cardinal number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. And then order number is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. And of course, you will see both of them in mathematics and also in Googleology. Uh, but in set theory, uh, at least in this video, you know, we are mostly talking about cardinal. And then, um, so for, of course, there are two kinds of cardinal numbers. So we have the finite cardinal, which is simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, 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 all the finite numbers basically, because cardinal is basically regular numbers, integers because we're talking about size and quantity of something. So Google, Google Plex, Graham's number, tree three, loader's number, even Rayo's number, they are all card, I mean, finite cardinal numbers. And then of course we have the infinite cardinals, which we're gonna focus on. Uh, we have the first uh, infinite cardinal or the smallest infinite cardinal, which is out of no, or not out of zero, and then out of one, out of two, so on and so forth. And then of course you can keep going and then you can have out of omega, which is the first uh, uncountable infinite cardinal. And then of course there's no ending. You can keep going out of, of omega plus one, out of omega plus two, so on and so forth. And these are called the uh, out of numbers. And of course, we also have something called the Beth numbers, which is written this way, so on and so forth. And they are also um, cardinal, infinite cardinal numbers. And let's see. So, of course, you know, I talk about this already in some of my videos. So, out of no is the smallest infinite cardinal number. Basically, it can be represented by, or it represents the set of all positive integers or negative integers, and also the subsets, which include all uh, the set of all even numbers, the set of all odd numbers, prime numbers, square numbers, etc., 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 and they are all the same size. Even though, first of all, most people may think there are more positive integers than even numbers. However, they there is a bijection, so which is a one-on-one -on -one correspondence. So you can map them, link them up one by one, one to one. Therefore, they are. It can be proven that they are the same size. So they are all out of no. Um, and also other examples are rational, constructible numbers, uh, algebraic, computable, blah, blah, blah. They all belong to out of no. And then the next one, the next infinite cardinal after out of no is out of one, which is an uncountable infinity. So some people call it out of no the countable infinity, and this one is uncountable infinity. And this is basically the second smallest uh, infinite ordinal, I mean, infinite cardinal. And of course, out of two is the third smallest um, infinite cardinal. And of course, here we have to look at the continuum hypothesis, uh, assuming it is true. Then the this thing over here, so the power set of out of no, um, here can be said to be equal to out of one 
and then out of two is of course the power set of out of one or the power set of the power set of out of no so this is how you write or represent the power set so you just say two to the power of something that's the let's say two to the n then in, in this case it means the power set of n and you can kind of do this uh, forever, you know, out of 3 is just a power set of the power set of the power set of out of no, or in other words, the power set of out of 2. And again, assuming the continuum uh, hypothesis is true, so there's no other cardinal number between out of no and out of 1, and out of 1 can be set to be, you know, represent the set the size of the set of the real numbers or the transcendental number or the normal numbers, the irrational number or the uncomputable number. Um, but of course, we are assuming the continuum hypothesis is true. And then, of course, as you can see already, just like the regular finite numbers, there's no largest cardinal number. You can keep going forever, you know, out of four, out of five, all the way to out of omega, or even omega plus one, out of omega plus two, out of omega to the omega, something like that. Um, as you can see, um, you can also, you know, write it this way. Um, yeah, there's no largest cardinal number, it's just as there's no largest number, you can always add one to it. And then there's something called the Arnold hierarchy. So, you know, it's very similar to the fast going hierarchy. Um, of course, you use the ordinal number under here. So, out of no, out of one, out of two, something like that. And of course, once you reach that, you can keep going omega plus two, omega plus three, omega to the omega. Um, and you can kind of write it this way as well. Out of of the out of no, something like that is you know is the same idea. And then eventually you're gonna reach the out of fixed point, which is similar to the idea of the omega fixed point, which is something like this, you know. And then, um, and then of course eventually you're gonna have the first uncountable uh, cardinal number. Well, actually this is the first uncountable cardinal uncountable cardinal which is the out of omega and then it gets messier and messier from this point forward so we have some other definition of properties of large cardinal we have something called the successor cardinal which is you know for of course one two three four five or out of one out of two out of omega plus one out of omega plus two and they are called regular and if it's not regular it's called singular and then there's something called the weak limit cardinals, which is neither successor cardinals nor zero. So for example, out of no, out of omega, the first out of fixed point. And also, of course, there's the first Beth fixed point, I believe. And then, of course, there's also the strong limit cardinals, which can be written this way using the Beth numbers where uh, alpha is zero or if it's a limit cardinal, which is which means it's a non-successor ordinal. Um, you know, of course, successor means two, three, four, five, six, the word successor. And then all weak limit cardinals other than out of no are singular and all successor cardinals are regular. So there's a good Wikipedia page on Googleology that explains all of this. If you're still not understanding this, this can kind of complicated and messy. And an uncountable cardinal is inaccessible if it cannot be obtained from smaller cardinals by the usual operation of cardinal arithmetic. So such as, you know, um, there's a page of that, of course, let's say uh, out of no plus out of no or you can do multiplication or exponentiation. However, you cannot reach the um, uncountable, I mean, the inaccessible cardinal if you try to do the cardinal arithmetic operation. So those are inaccessible if you cannot reach them using this kind of operation so anyway i'm gonna stop this right here it's getting messier and messier so 
uh, hopefully you get some of the idea of large cardinal and what is an inaccessible cardinal. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.